Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In this video, I want to show you how to use message flashing in Flask. So message flashing is useful for when you want to send a message from one request to the very next request and only that request. So the, the message that you send will only be valid for the very next request for it to read and then after that, that message goes away. So this is useful when you're dealing with users, say they're entering into a form and submitting, they're logging in, they're uploading something. You can process what they've done and you can give them a message depending on what they've done. If they mess up, you can give them an error message. If they succeed it, they can, you can give them a success message. And on the next request that they uh, run, the, the template will have access to this message and it can display it to the user. So it's easier for me to actually show you, so let me show you what I have set up so far. I'm importing Flask, Render Template, Redirect, Flash, which is the important one here, and URL for it. I have these two routes set up. Index simply redirects to example, and example renders this template. And I have this nothing to see here. So I already have the server set up, nothing to see here. So what I want to do is I want to send a message to the example route. So what I'm going to do is I'll have a message be generated on the index and then it's going to redirect to example which will create a new request on example and then the template will show you whatever that message is. So I have to write simply flash. This is a flashed message. And because flashing uses cookies I have to set up a secret key. The cookies are encrypted so I'll say don't tell anyone as my secret key. So let me run this to see if um, it works without errors. And it looks like it does. But I don't see a message. Well, why not? It's because I have to get those messages in the template. So let me go to my template here and let me write some code to get the message. So the first thing I need is a with block. I'm going to say with messages being equal to get flashed messages. This will take all the flash messages that I can find and put them in this list messages. Let me end this with. And then I want to determine if there's actually anything in there. So if this actually exists, then I can go ahead with processing it. If it doesn't exist, then I'll do nothing. And then I'm going to loop through the messages and display all of them. So for message in messages, in, uh, in for, I'll just put them in header tags. So let's say message, let me put space in between there, um, H3. Okay, so this is getting all the messages that exist. Um, if they do exist, it's going to loop through them and display them. If nothing exists, then nothing happens. So let me run this code again. If I run it on example, I get the message from the last one um, because it hasn't been processed yet. But if I run it again, I get nothing. So now if I run the index gets sent and my server is a little messed up so it's calling the index twice you see here and then it's redirecting so that's why I have two messages but the idea is the same that time it only called it once yeah I don't know why my server sometimes duplicates requests um, I have to look into that but the idea is for every request it's sending um, this flash message to the example page to be handled and if I call example again I see nothing because the example doesn't have access to the flash message anymore because it's only valid for the next request so that's all I wanted to show you in this video just a very simple example on how to use flash messages um, if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments below and I'll answer them if you like this video just give me a thumbs up and if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. I make videos every day. And if you have any requests for videos, let me know. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.